Hi, I'm David Kramer with Vontu Learning Network. Welcome to another episode in my series of videos where I address a concept within each of the chapters of Bixie's 13th edition TDMM. This week we'll be looking at Chapter 4, Backbone Distribution Systems, and talking about passive optical networks. Typically, in a backbone application, a passive optical network is a point to multi point fiber connecting to the premise architecture. In this configuration, unpowered optical splitters are used to enable a single fiber to serve multiple premises. These splitters are typically available in ranges from 1 to 32 to 1 to 128. Depending on where the pond terminates, they can be described as fiber to the curb, fiber to the building, or fiber to the home. So what kinds of economic advantages do they offer compared to a point-to-point -point topology? Well, they can reduce the amount of fiber required. They can re reduce the number of central office transceivers required. Or they could reduce the rack space required in the central office. Figure 4.18 in your TDMM illustrates an Ethernet passive optical network, or EPON topology. The optical distribution network consists of the optical fiber distribution plant and the passive optical splitter. The EPON has no active Ethernet or optical equipment in the distribution or access network in the neighborhood. The optical line terminal, or OLT, located at the central office, provides a single fiber to the optical splitter, which is located in the distribution network. In this scenario, the splitter could provide services to 16 individual residences. The optical network unit, located at the residence and assumed to be on the outside, completes the conversion from optical to electrical. The ONU provides the necessary functionality to allow the service provider to connect to the media in the residence. Now, just like every other episode, I'll end with a question. So for today, I'm asking, which portion of the Ethernet physical layer is responsible for interfacing to the transmission medium? A, physical medium non-dependent sublayer. B, physical medium dependent sublayer. C, physical independent sublayer, or D, physical medium independent sublayer. If you don't know, I'll give you the answer next week. And the answer to last week's question is C, five feet. You can find that in chapter three, page 56 in your TDMM. To learn more about both our live and online RCDD and OSP review courses, or our upcoming Outside Plant Design Series, contact me at davidc at vontulearningnetwork.com, at my office at 813-321-5533, or visit our website at vontulearningnetwork.com. So join me again next week for another chapter from the TDMM, and thanks for watching.